Guidance on taking arm measurements. Please heed the general advice on taking measurements before starting the program. The latter is based on the standards laid down by the Federal College for Orthopedic Technology. Each manufacturer, however, uses material of different quality with a corresponding effect on the arm. The film will draw your attention to the specific quality features of the arm stockings from OFA Bamberg. Every time you see this OFA tip, we make recommendations on how to obtain the best fit and the highest wearing comfort of an OFA arm stocking. Explain to your patient right from the beginning the individual steps and the approximate time involved in the measuring process. The patient will then not become impatient about the time required. When taking measurements, the arm should rest on a surface, for example a table. First, feel the arm carefully to check if it is totally decongested. The firmness of the tissue, thus determined, also decides how much stretching is required when measuring. In the case of soft tissue, you must tighten the measuring tape, whereas in the case of firm tissue, it should be somewhat looser. Also, pull more firmly on the measuring tape should the edema be pronounced and less firmly if the edema is less pronounced. Measure the circumference of the wrist at point C, where the arm lies on the table with the palm of the hand facing upwards. Measure without stretching the tape as an edema can develop in the back of the hand as a result of constriction. It is best to mark the individual measuring points with a cold pencil to be able to later take the final length measurements. Enter all length measurements in columns L and all circumferential measurements in column C of the order pad. Measuring point C1 is located about 7 cm above point C, in the first third of the forearm, whose circumference should be measured without stretching the tape. OFA tip. For the perfect fit of an OFA stocking, please stretch the tape slightly while measuring. Measure the circumference of point D at the widest area of the forearm, which will be roughly in the second third. Stretch the tape while measuring. With the elbow slightly bent and without stretching the tape, measure the circumference of point E, which is located on the elbow and the crease of the arm. Ofa tip. For the perfect fit of an Ofa stocking, stretch the tape here while measuring. The next measuring point, F, is located in the middle of the upper arm. Stretch the tape while measuring its circumference. Measuring point, G, is located at the armpit and its circumference should be measured without stretching the tape at a perpendicular angle to the arm axis. OFA tip for the perfect fit of an OFA stocking, stretch the tape here while measuring. By means of your markings, you can now measure the lengths on the inside of the arm. The patient's arm should be extended. Always start at point C and move along your markings on the arm. Measuring point E is located directly at the crook of the patient's arm. Proceed to measuring point G. To mark measuring point G on the outside of the arm, use a cardboard which you bend around the patient's arm and then make a marking at the upper edge of the cardboard. If the stocking is fastened with a support strap, it is necessary to measure length GH. In this case, you should, starting from measuring point G, as previously marked, measure up to shoulder height H. The strap's length can be determined by measuring from point H across the trunk back to point H. Where the arm circumference is wide, it is recommended that a grip top is sewn on. The length to point GG1 is only determined if the arm stocking is to have a lateral elevation. If the other arm requires a stocking, Begin the same measuring procedure for that arm. So that you can stretch the tape correctly at the right measuring point, please pay special attention to the following points. 
For flat knitted treatment, you should generally stretch the tape while measuring. As you measure on the wrist at point C, do not stretch the tape. This would lead to constriction, which could shift the edema into the back of the hand. If it is a one piece hand arm stocking, then please refer to the module Guidance on Taking Hand Measurements to measure points A and B. For information on the different designs and additional features, please refer to the module ordering. Please do not hesitate to contact customer service at any time should you have any further questions.